Hi and welcome back to part 6 of Google AdWords basic training. This is being brought to you by Cash from datatechnologyllc.com. Uh, last time we had uh, gone over some reporting so we'll be picking uh, that up today. Uh, just a little bit about ourselves. Uh, we are Cash Data Consulting LLC based in Dallas, Texas. We are experts in SEO, Google AdWords, AdSense and Analytics. Uh, currently we are offering $100 Google AdWords credit in the next 30 days if you sign up for one of our SEO packages. Um, if you would like more information, feel free to contact us at in info at datatechnologyllc.com. So like I mentioned, today's uh, agenda is to basically finish reports. We uh, had gone over quite a few things and the last thing we were going to talk about is the conversion. Uh, so we will cover that first and then we are going to go ahead and uh, essentially wrap things up. So let me switch to Google AdWords and uh, here we are in our campaigns uh, tab. Just at a high level you can see uh, that we had this campaign running SQL Server Tutorials. Uh, it's ended right now. Uh, we had uh, two conversions so this is uh, you know where you can get that information and the average cost per conversion for us was forty dollars and eighty two cents okay uh, and uh, basically uh, the rate is essentially uh, this uh, essentially divided by the number of clicks okay so that's a basic information now you're probably asking how do you set up the conversion so I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it uh, one thing before that is also you can go to the keywords tab and uh, let me specify my active campaign I think I picked the wrong one here let me uh, do this again um, and so you can see that uh, which keywords generated a conversion okay so SQL 2008 training was one of them uh, what that means is that you should definitely be using this keyword phrase in your website if you are not and the other one that uh, generated the conversion was a phrase match using SQL Server 2008 video. Okay, so keep that in mind and uh, let me show you where to do this conversion setup. You basically go to reporting and tools and you select conversions. One thing I do not like about this is that uh, I have not been able to uh, edit a conversion yet. There's probably a way to do it but um, I'm simply going to go ahead and create another conversion and walk you through this. Okay, so here we are in our conversion uh, area, and I'm going to, uh, in fact, go back here onto the main tab, and I'm going to go ahead and click on new conversion. You can call it a name, test conversion, let's just say, and your tracking purpose uh, for us it is going to be for a purchase or sale of product for you it may be you know you're trying to sign up somebody on a website or a newsletter or possibly generate a lead uh, so for for me I'm going to go ahead and select purchase and sale and then uh, s click save and continue and this is where you will be generating a code for your conversion so the whole idea is basically that uh, once once a user clicks through you know the buying process they go to your website they click on the products page they go to the buy now page once they go through the checkout process at the end they are going to get to a confirmation slash thank you page and that is the page that you need to set up this uh, conversion code on so before I do that uh, let me show you so in our case we've been talking about uh, the website learning SQL server 2008.com when uh, somebody is ready to check out they will go to buy now and we're not going to go through this but let's go ahead and select buy now and our uh, code is using PayPal but uh, yours could possibly be something else anyway so when they go through this setup and uh, finish the process from PayPal they will be routed back to our page which is our main site to this this page which is essentially a thank you dot htm maybe it's html <coughs> okay so I may have to get the right 
create a enqueue.htm should be the right one. Oh, I apologize. I'm actually in my mailbox instead of the website. Okay, so thank you .htm. It seems to be defaulting to uh, the mbox here. So let me do this. Oh, right here. Okay. All right, so here's the page that after they have gone through the checkout, they will land on this page, and it's, it basically says that thank you for your order and payment. It's completed, and you will get some information on this, okay? So this is the page that we need to be setting uh, tracking on, and all you do is you basically select uh, what kind of um, connection. If it's a secure connection, you will, you will use HTTPS. Ours is just open connection. Uh, there are a few other settings in here uh, for language. I'm going to go ahead and pick English. Also, you can uh, set up a uh, value of conversion. Maybe, you know, let's say 10, you don't want to track anything under $10. You could enter that in here. I'm going to leave that as is. This is what you, um, down here, the choose text format is where you select what kind of Google uh, logo or information you want on the confirmation page and then you can also change you know the background if you wanted to uh, I'm pretty much going to leave things as they are and going to go ahead and select save and get code so here's the code it generates it says copy the conversion tracking code and paste it in the source of the page you would like to track so the idea is you select all of this uh, okay, you'll see there's a few parameters in here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Switch to my HTML editor, and I already have the page open uh, in here. And all you really need to do is paste this in the body of your code. Uh, and notice here we already have this uh, see Google code for this campaign SS dash tutorial and then it tells you these are all the parameters but uh, let's say if I was you know redoing this I would cut this out okay and then just paste it <clears throat> notice that it pretty much uh, this is just a comments line so I can take that one out and here you go so you save the code you go ahead and save this file which I'm not going to do in my case because I kinda wanna leave my other code running you uh, close this and then you will use some sort of uh, upload mechanism you can either FTP the file or just m move it through your hosting uh, application in my case I'm using uh, FileZilla so once you have this page you can go ahead and upload it to your site and that pretty much is is the tracking okay uh, down here it's just simply telling you that okay paste the conversion tracking code into the source of your action page between the body tags and you also have uh, an option to send this to somebody else so let's say you had a web developer working on your site you could definitely send it to them and I, I believe that is all there is there's uh, some other options that you can for settings and then uh, I tend to leave things as default now what's gonna happen is that once you have this thing set up uh, let me go back to my conversion types <clears throat> you'll notice that a lot of these uh, that I've set up have not been verified so it says unverified okay so that means that uh, essentially nothing has been tracked or no conversions have been made you will notice that I do have one in here SS dash tutorial and this did report um, two conversions okay and those are the ones we have been tracking so that is pretty much what I wanted to talk about tracking uh, or conversion tracking I guess I should say and then uh, let us switch back to our um, <clears throat> next slide which basically uh, we're going to talk about conversion so I apologize I went uh, missed this but basically this is a true measure of AdWords potential uh, you have to set up the conversion you have to get the 
code like we showed you. You copy this code to the page, typically a thank you page or a confirmation page, and then do a demo. So we showed you that. And if you wanted to see um, <clears throat> our target page, let me show you the source. If you come down here, we're looking at the HTML file now. Come over down here somewhere. Here, here is the code that will be used for tracking. Okay. So that's that, and then I think we have finally reached the end. So, just a recap of what we're looking at. We we started with you know Google.com/slash/adwords. This is uh, where you will be setting up your advertising uh, campaign, if you will. Every campaign, uh, like we mentioned, should really focus on a single product, category, or service. Okay, so if you have um, multiple products, I would recommend you know creating different campaigns for that category. Okay, With, and then focus. You can also follow the, your website structure. So typically, you know, you may have uh, separate pages for a product detail page. Just follow follow the same kind of mechanism. After the campaign, the next thing is, you know, really the ad group, okay? This again follows a single product line. After that, you set up the keywords, and this is by far the most important part of your AdWords campaign. Uh, you know, if you want to get, let's say, a lot of branding or essentially, you know, your word out there for your website, you may want to use broad keywords. This is going to get you lots of volume as opposed to using a focused, you know, keywords this is going to get you better conversion okay we also looked at keyword tools including um, wordtracker.com seobook.com and also uh, google uh, adwords keyword tool then uh, you know we move on to the actual advertisement you may want to make sure that you uh, definitely put some keywords in the underlying ad uh, you make them catchy and you also put some call to action something along the lines of buy now or you know special today uh, or whatnot to kind of basically stand out uh, among the other ads that the end user is seeing uh, finally last time we had gone over reports including the conversion uh, process that we just showed you and then uh, the final thing is that once you have your campaign you pretty much need to go back look at the data, fine tune it, you know, if there are keywords that are not being um, successful, maybe there's not a lot of click through ratio, get rid of those. I mean, and you know, maybe focus on the ones that are working for you and maybe even find new keyword phrases that will help you. Thank you for watching the video.